so when you talk about like some of the things that you focused on, how has that like helped you in the classroom? Like what, what has that actually done? Because I think a lot of times, uh, you know, people see all the stuff that you share, but like, mm-hmm. how does it actually like improve learning in your classroom? How does it help students, yeah. the ones you work with every single day? Totally. I think this is key. So I think, you know, there's been a really big push with social emotional learning in the mm-hmm. classroom. And the whole idea behind it is, can we regulate our emotions? Can we get to a place where children come out of our school system being able to be, you know, highly functioning adults, like having a good sense of their understanding of themselves and their emotions and their their uh, interactions with one another, their thinking, all of that, really being metacognitive about their their approach with each other and then their old their own self concept. The irony, however, is that many educators. Uh, have a hard time with Mm -hmm. a lot of the skills in there. Not that we're not experienced. It's just to dig into that self-knowledge, to dig into who we really are, our goals, our dreams, our, what makes us feel happy, all those Mm self-care practices. Those are things that in fact, we need to be practicing ourselves and we don't always. And so I think a lot of the work that I've been doing in the last, you know, four or five years has been around how do I take care of myself, not just with meditation and, mm-hmm. and self-care, but also like craft the life that I want to be leading, set goals that are really ambitious and in tune with my values. How do I do those things in such a way that when I'm living a really wholehearted life where I feel proud of where I'm going and I feel proud of the trail that I'm leaving behind, that I, that energy comes off in the classroom, that I'm able to, through example, Mm -hmm. tell my students, you can be an author. You know, I see these kids who have limitless energy, beautiful, you know, creativity. You give them one little spark of an idea and off they go in, in so many direct, like really amazing skills. And to be able to sit there and really tell them with conviction, you know, you can actually do something with this. And you may not see it right now. Your parents may not see it right now because maybe it's a lot. Mm -hmm. But you have so much creativity in you that you can do something with this. And so I think being able to follow follow that calling or that little voice inside that says you can do something that maybe seems insurmountable or seems kind of a bit of a stretch If you yourself do Mm -hmm. that, it's like growth mindset, you're able to trickle that down to the kids and then they can actually see themselves in, in the light that you, you know, the light that you shine on them. And I think that's really what this is about. Um, Yeah. In a nutshell. 